Model Predictive Control Toolbox provides MATLAB functions, an app, and Simulink blocks for designing and simulating MPC controllers. These controllers optimize performance of multi-input and multi-output systems subject to input and output constraints. In this video, I will demonstrate the basics of Model Predictive Control Toolbox by designing a controller for an unstable plant model that is constrained by saturated control inputs. There are many more advanced features available, including adaptive and explicit MPC control blocks, but those are outside of the scope of this particular demonstration. I will start with a multi-input, multi-output plant model in Simulink with two inputs and two outputs. Running a simulation of the open loop system reveals that this plant is unstable. I will design a controller for this system with two inputs and two outputs. The manipulated variables are the inputs to the plant model that control the system. The measured outputs for this system will be taken directly from the plant model. I will begin designing the controller in Simulink by launching the MPC design tool. This will linearize my system and assist me in obtaining my linear plant model from within Simulink. I could also directly import a plant model from MATLAB into the design tool. I can see the structure of inputs and outputs I defined for my system. To design my controller, I first want to define the scale factors. I define the scale factors equal to the difference of my controller constraints. For example, my constraints are plus or minus 25, so I set the scale factor to the difference, 50. I did this for the other scale factors as well. Next, I can move to the controllers node. Here, I will define the horizon. The prediction horizon should be set to capture the settling time of the system. The control interval is set to the sample time. Moving on to the constraints tab, I can define the manipulated variables and output variable constraints. Finally, I can adjust the weights of the outputs for the control task to achieve zero offset for piecewise constant references. Since I define the scale factor already, the weights are dimensionless. This is where the user can really adjust the performance of the controller. I can now run scenarios to test my design before implementing it in Simulink. In the scenarios node, I can run a step response much like I do in the simulation. Here, I can verify that my controller does not exceed the constraints and observe how my controller responds to the input. This controller can now be exported to the MATLAB workspace for use in my Simulink simulation. After clicking the play button in Simulink, I can see that the system is following the commands and my control inputs do not exceed the limitation of 25 that I provided. Now that I am satisfied with my design, I can move forward with generating code for the controller that I can deploy onto my hardware.